any second now, a network of explosives is going to take down the old Lake Barkley Bridge in Canton, Kentucky. News Channel 5, Sophie Nielsen Colding. She's been out there for us all morning. She is live. All right, Sophie, we're getting pretty close. Any words on when this explosion, exactly when it's going to happen? We are we are getting close. You are not seeing me on camera because we want to keep the camera on the bridge. It could happen any moment now, and we definitely want to get that on camera for you guys at home watching. There's a whole watch party out here, and there's a lot of people out on the lake too watching from their boats. They have to stay back though. There's about a 1500 uh, kind of blast zone that they have to stand back from. So of course the new bridge has been closed now for a little while too uh, before the explosion and after it happens, they're going to need to keep it closed for about 90 minutes because they don't know what kind of debris is going to come off of the old bridge onto the new bridge. They don't want people puncturing tires, that kind of a thing. Uh, we've got this up now and just everyone is eagerly waiting. People have been joking all morning and I know Amy, you might be there too. Uh, and you said something about the, the old scary bridge. Every uh, That's what everybody's been saying out here when I asked them about the old bridge. It's just the first um, the thing that comes to their mind is that bridge is scary. I don't want to drive on it. <laughs> so a lot of people out here this morning excited to kind of watch something that, you know, if they grew up driving across here to Canton, Kentucky or across the lake, um, it's just kind of a big deal out here. It's, it's cool to watch too. Everybody loves watching a uh, planned ex explosion like this. I know that uh, I was there for the Lifeway Tower explosion in Nashville, and it's just an interesting thing to look at the engineering that goes into it. I know they've been planning this since they built the new bridge and uh, just kind of waiting. Now we've got people with drones in the air, people on the water with their boats. There we go. There it goes. So you saw it before you heard it. That's because the sound carries a little slower, but you can see the, the uh, what's left of it now, just the smoke in the air. It's an 86 year old bridge, Sophie. How many people would you estimate where you are, are, uh, are were there to, to watch it fall? Um, I would say at least two dozen, maybe three dozen people hmm. out here. Everybody's with their phones. I'm looking up because they're watching from the balcony above. Uh, very cool to watch. It was, it's it was just very cool to watch um, from being here. You, you could hear kind of a, a excited, I don't even know what to call it. Everybody just kind of went, ooh, you know, when, it, when it exploded because it's it's very cool to see it in person. And of course, you know, it's, it's planned. You see that everybody is safe. So. It's gone. They're going to have uh, barges come by with uh, big heavy machinery to get all of that debris out of the water there. And then they'll be able to open it up to the, the boat traffic later. And in, they're going to need about 90 minutes, as I said, to um, clear it for the new bridge to open that back up. So very cool to see out here. I'm glad you guys watching from home stayed with us and uh, back back in the studio. I hope that you guys were able to see it, too. It's very cool to see. And of course, here it's very loud. Yes.